guys, so let's look at the curviness of ladies uh, in Kibis system. I'm gonna leave the link on my Kibis playlist down below. First couple I'm gonna compare is Yevan Mendes and Sofia Vergara. Both of these women are tall. They have some drama in them just because they have that long vertical line. However, one is flamboyant natural, another one is soft dramatic. Now, I'll give you some seconds to guess who is who. They both are curvy, okay? They both are tall. So remember one thing, like, first of all, soft dramatics, they have sharper bones, not blunt. They're not as angular. They are more curve dominant. Curve dominant means you see their curves, you perceive them as curvy women. You don't see necessarily their width, their strength, their musculature. You perceive their um, sometimes like sharper bones and on top of those sharper bones, some prominent features, some rounded features on top. From what naturals, they are more wider on top. They have normally their rib cage is slightly wider, but it's not always the case. They also can be pretty curvy, but their hips are more straight in lines sometimes can happen. And also they are more squarish looking. They are more angular looking. They have blunt bones, not sharp. They just are uh, rounded squares, kind of rounded angles not sharp and also but they can also look curvy so yeah yeva mendes she is flamboyant natural and sofia vergara she is a soft dramatic sofia vergara we perceive her more as a curvy woman we can see her curves we can see some sharpness in her bones when we look at yeva mendes the way she is wearing those dresses for example and stuff she's slightly more angular more squarish more natural looking if i can say so more blunt has more blunt bones they sometimes have a more square shoulders wider rib cage for example but they can also be curvy so sometimes curviness is not the good indicator because many people they consider every change between their chest area, waist area, and the hip area, they consider it as an hourglass, so they put everybody, whether to theatrical, romantic, and romantic, if small, and if tall, then everybody is soft dramatic, which is not the case. There's so many of curvy women, they're actually flamboyant naturals. I just want you to start seeing a little bit more difference in that, just a little bit more difference. So soft dramatics are slightly more chiseled, I would say sometimes. Now we're gonna compare Jennifer Lawrence and Raquel Weiss. Who is flamboyant natural and who is soft dramatic? Let's look at who looks more curvy and softer. They both are soft, I know. Yeah, they look soft. They have that soft flesh. They're not bony. They don't look both like very muscular. That's right. But one of them has more blunt bones. One of them is more frame dominant. Another one is more curve dominant. Curves that sensual lush thing that's what you perceive when you look at this woman and another woman she looks more tall healthy and strong with more blunt bones her lips are slightly stronger her eyes are smaller her shoulders are slightly more to a square side and she's slightly more angular so jennifer lawrence she is flamboyant natural and raquel weiss she's more soft dramatic so yeah, just try to see that kind of difference, like what vibe it is uh, bringing to you. Is it more frame dominant? Is it more slightly angular? Or it has like that very soft dramatic stature in there. Also soft dramatics, they can't stand uh, tousled hair, some tousled and slightly wild looks and also anything that has no waist emphasis and extremely bulky in that um, waist area, it just looks too untidy on them and uh, as if they're having a bad day. But if we talk about flamboyant naturals, they look amazing in that. They don't look like they're losing anything if we don't emphasize their waist. They look amazing without waist emphasis, actually. And they don't look bulky and stuff uh, with uh, relaxed clothes and with slightly towels on them, wild hair wild hair look as if she just washed it and go some extra glamour looks amazing on soft dramatics but it looks slightly too much over glamorized sometimes on flamboyant naturals they can look like they they need just something heavier something bolder it is kind of too sleek for them probably too too tidy for them sometimes not always i'm gonna leave the link on the kibis 
uh, celebrities list down below. So you can check this and you can just Google for pictures of flamboyant natural and uh, soft dramatic of Kibi verified celebrities. And you can really start seeing the difference like of the vibe of the overall like face, face, facial expression. Also soft dramatics, they look great with volume on the hair, which is very back combed like in the 60s, sometimes very tidy uh, down like that. For flamboyant naturals and can be slightly too stiff. They need some more freedom, more air in the hair. If if uh, soft dramatics are slightly more pointed, slightly more sharp and more chiseled slightly, then flamboyant naturals, they can just go chunky and wild, natural, very natural. All right, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that was interesting. Let me know which comparisons I should do next and I will definitely make them. Thank you, bye-bye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm gonna leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.